Guys, I just filmed this whole introduction and realized I didn't click start on the camera. YouTube channel so if you didn't check out my last video I'll put the link in the bio basically my sister and I we did wait let me see this up. my sister and I we did the say it or shot it challenge it was like half 10 on a Friday night and we got a little bit boozy and the truth came out so yeah check that I'll put the link in my bio and as always if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit the button below and turn on that bell icon so you get all my notifications first and you can also check me out Instagram rjlay underscore underscore it's gosh I feel like Emma Chamberlain you know when she does the little editing side notes um so you might have noticed that I said RJ Lay underscore underscore, but then I put the Ryan Lay two tag. Basically, I've decided that I'm just gonna have one Instagram account instead of managing two. So uh, yeah, moving forward, I think it'll be a little bit easier. So yeah, make sure you check me out at um, Ryan Lay two, and you can also find a link to it in my YouTube banner thing. That's like a little link where I do like more daily videos of me just basically chatting rubbish to the lens, really. So yeah, check me out there and make sure you hit subscribe. So, oh, so first of all, I don't know if you remember me saying in my jean video that I had that like macrame, macrame string thing hanging from my ceiling and I was still waiting for the pot on the plant. So I ordered the, the pot online and it'd be this nice like cement pot in gray. It was gonna look so gorge and it came. <laughs> Well, somehow I think I might have got the sizing a little bit wrong. Like it's absolutely massive. It's literally like a bin. And as well, it's not even stone. It's like cheap plastic. I absolutely royally that up. So that's going straight back in the post tomorrow. But it's like an Amazon return and they're a bit of a nightmare, but anywho. Oh, also another reason to follow my Instagram, hashtag plug. If you don't, you won't know that I have started doing like delivery driving stuff, online shopping parcels. And obviously, cause I'm in my car and I'll be listening to a lot of radio and I always listen to Capital just cause that's probably my personal favorite. Shout out to Capital, wanna sponsor me, hit me up. But the only bad thing about Capital is they do like to play the same songs quite often, which is good if the songs are tuned, but when you're in the car for three hours and they play the same song three times, it gets a little bit much. One of the songs that they love playing is the Megan Stallion Savage. That was like that TikTok song. I just can't get on with the TikTok. But anyway, that's the story for another day. But now it's remix and it's got Beyonce in it. That's what I don't really know how you can call it a remix because for me, she just features in the track. She's just like done a verse and added. Well, anyway, there's one point in the song where she's literally in the background just goes like this. Whoa! Just out of the blue. Just like, I'm a sad. Whoa! And you're like, so if that's a remix, um, yeah, that's new to me too. Anyway, for today's video, what I was thinking, I am quite partial to spending quite a lot of money on the old skin car. You know, like moisturizers, essential oils, hydrating serums, morning and night regimes and face masks and stuff. And obviously it can be a bit pricey. So I saw someone online the other day doing like a homemade skin face mask with stuff that they found in their kitchen. And I was like, hold on a sec, we sitting on a landmine here. A landmine? Don't wanna sit on a landmine. A gold mine here. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a go. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be reviewing and making, creating and putting on my face five different face masks. Ones for like unclogging your pores, hyperpigmentation, hydration, ones for wrinkles and ones for something else that I can't remember. But I'll put all the links in the bio to where I found them. Yeah, I looked at the ingredients and pretty much it's all what you can find in your kitchen, which is great. So I had to go out and get a few bits like turmeric and honey because we'd run out. But apart from that, they're like cupboard essential kind of things, like Greek yogurt, oatmeal and other things. I'm quite excited because hopefully if they're any good then I won't have to buy some sort of face mask with Amazonian clay in it and authentic yarrow root and just use oatmeal and honey that I've had for breakfast on my face. Fingers crossed we'll all be able to save ourselves a bit of coin. So the first one I'm going to be doing today is the hyperpigmentation one. Hoping for that lovely natural skin tone. I'm quite oily at the moment because it's absolutely boiling in this room. So I'm gonna take me, take me. I'm gonna take us, I'm gonna take the camera downstairs to my kitchen. We're gonna concoct, we're gonna concoct, con, concoct, concoct, a concoct. We're gonna make this hyperpigmentation mask and yeah. So this one is actually super easy. It's literally just turmeric powder and honey. So it's half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and then one to two tablespoons of honey. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just making it into a paste now. It smells absolutely horrible and it looks almost a bit like mango chutney. Hopefully it's gonna give me gorgeous skin. So I'm gonna go put this on in my bathroom upstairs. Let's go. 
Welcome to my bathroom. So I didn't say earlier, but I'm gonna do this video over the course of a week because I didn't want to put like five face masks on my face in one day because I think my skin will be like, so what I'll do is I'll like do one, review it, then a couple of days later tell you how my skin feels and all of that sort of jazz. And then at the end I'll do like an overview spiel. Just gonna quickly wash my face and then put the turmeric on. So I've just washed my face and washed all my concealer off so now you know I'm a catfish. I'm actually gonna put a towel around my shoulders because I don't want the turmeric to like, like drip off and stain my t-shirt. I'm actually gonna go put a hat on. This might be a better idea. Make like a bib out of it. Very sticky obviously because of the honey. God, it smells horrible. My application of the face mask is appalling. Very glad I put this towel on. Can you imagine if it stained my face, this colour? Cute. I literally smell like a sweet potato wedge. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and then wash it off. Sorry, but why is it when you can't itch your nose, it's the itchiest thing in the whole world? My nose has never been this itchy in my whole life and suddenly now I can't itch it, it's like... <laughs> okay, so I've had it on for about eight minutes. As you can see, it hasn't really firmed up. I think it's because there's so much honey in it. I feel like it's definitely with a slight orange tinge. It was quite horrible to get off, like I kept on getting honey and turmeric in my mouth, which was making me feel a little bit sick. Yeah, I did love that, because it was so wet and just dripping everywhere, it just was annoying. It was okay, because of the honey, my skin feels super soft and smooth, but I, just, I wouldn't be rushing to do that one again, if I'm honest. But yeah, on to the next one. So I just went to make my face mask and realised that we didn't have any baking soda, just baking powder, which obviously isn't the same. And, and seeing as there's only two ingredients in the face mask, I thought probably should get those two right. I went to Morrison's earlier to pick up a few bits and the baking like stuff is absolutely sparse. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going to get it from. But even if it takes all day, it's a journey. So yeah. Okay, so I'm back with the bicarbonate of soda. Yeah, but I had to go to three shops and finally got it in the third shop at M&S. Good old M&S. So yeah, as I said before, this is the clogged pores mask. Um, so it's just two tablespoons of oatmeal and one tablespoon of baking soda. Hi, so welcome to my lab. There's not very much here. I've got quite a big face. I also think my oatmeal is too chunky. Like I've got four oats. So I think I'm actually gonna blend the oats because they're very quite thick. Thick to make the voice sick. I'm a Nutribullet. That is a lot better. I blended the oatmeal with my Nutribullet so that it actually is making more of a paste. Well, this is why I do it. So if you wanna do it, then you don't have to waste all this time. Here we go. This is looking more like a face mask. Not quite Amazonian clay with authentic yarrow root, but it's looking good. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm gonna go upstairs into my room and put it on. Okay, so I actually opted for the bathroom instead. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly just wash my face. And um, it's actually made quite a lot. I didn't think it was gonna be very much at all, but quite good. Well, that looks like baby sick. So, here we go. Gonna leave this on. It says just to leave it on until it dries, so I'm probably gonna leave it on for at least 10 minutes and see how it dries. It is actually stinging a little bit. Not stinging, but like tingling. Maybe it must be the bicarb working. So that's good. And it's all dripping everywhere. Lovely. Okay, so I've had the face mask on now for about 15 minutes. I'm actually really impressed with how crispy it's gone. It really feels like it's firmed up my skin and you can actually really feel the bicarb working, which is good. The only bad thing is, like it does crust off, which is absolutely horrible. And it looks like someone vomited on my face. But let's wash it off and see how we feel. So I've just taken it off. My skin feels really nice, very smooth. It was an absolute nightmare to get off, like very crumbly and quite messy. Yeah, my skin feels clean. It says to moisturize once you've taken the product off, which I would agree with because my skin does feel quite dry. But yeah, I feel like it's has um, like cleaned my skin really nicely and it felt nice. So yeah, I'll let you know when I come to film the next face mask. <gasps> Good morning. Good morning. Do -do -do. And so it's early in the morning, hence this lovely bed hair. So the mask I'm gonna be doing today is the de-puff mask. So I thought it was quite apt to do it in the morning rather than because I don't really get puffy skin at like 3 p.m. So I literally haven't even washed my face yet. So in this one, it's 
coffee, turmeric, and Greek yogurt. Nice. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna go make it downstairs and then come back up. So I just made the um, mask. I put it in this like cute mosaic bowl that I think my mum got when she went to Morocco. But it kind of looks like a dip that you could put crisps in. So interesting. Oof, the turmeric. Oof. Here it goes. Very horrible, horrible, horrible colour. It's kind of nice though. I use just like regular freeze dried coffee and I crushed it with the back of my spoon to make it like into a bit more of like a fine powder. But obviously it didn't crush them completely. So the little coffee grains are almost like exfoliating on the skin, which is quite nice. I reckon this can make like a really nice foundation. It's like just my shade. Like Estee Lauder Double Wear in shade Depuff Turmeric Coffee. Okay, so um, I'm gonna leave it on for 20 minutes and then update y'all. Okay, so I just went to wash my hands and I'm a little bit low-key concerned because it's like stained my fingers a little bit. And obviously I'm supposed to have this on for 20 minutes. And obviously I know I was joking about Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Deep Half, but don't really want my skin to be this colour, funnily enough. So I've had it on for about 10 minutes now and I'm really worried that it's gonna stain my face. So I'm gonna go wash it off in the shower and then I'll see you back in a bit. So I've just washed it off and I think it has like tinged my skin a little bit. No word of a lie, when I first washed it off in the shower, my skin was like tinged and I was like, what the hell am I gonna do? So I literally washed my face up like, four times in the shower, trying to literally with like exfoliating beads, like, please, I don't wanna be stained forever. So do not try that one at home. It was, it's a shame though, because putting it on was really nice, but I don't wanna look that color for the rest of my life. Orange, horrible. Um, So yeah, don't try that, not worth it. And it didn't even feel like it did anything. Feel like, I still feel like I've got puffy eyes. So yeah, rubbish. <laughs> Hi everybody. So welcome back. This is the next face mask. I don't even know what number I'm on now. What was the last one that I did? Oh yeah, the one that stained my skin. Good. But the one that we're gonna be doing today, or well, the one that I'm gonna be doing today is for minimizing enlarged pores. It's literally just got egg white, honey, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Yeah, not quite sure how I feel about putting egg white on my face. Think I'm gonna beat it so it's like almost like meringue consistency. Stiff peaks, as they would say when you're making meringue. I think I've made meringue once and my mum turned off the oven, so obviously they did go very well. So I was whisking it for so long and it just got boring, so I just gave up and now we've got like this like frothy wet face mask so god only knows what this is gonna be like <coughs> it's in my mouth uh i don't want to get salmonella right okay so i'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and then take it off so I've had this on for about 10 minutes now. Um, my skin feels so sticky, obviously, because of the honey and the lemon juice as well. But like I've had Botox, my skin's like, oh God, that's horrible. So my skin feels really soft. Every time I've used honey my mask so far, they, it makes my skin feel really nice. But I don't think it's really minimized any of my pores. Like my cheeks are still quite porous. So yeah. And it took absolutely ages to make. Um, it was all right, but not groundbreaking. So on to the next. Hi everyone. So it's the last face mask, finally. God, bet you're probably thinking the same. So this last one is gonna be a softening honey and avocado mask. Ooh. So it's basically just got honey, avocado, olive oil, and then it's got mango in it, but I'm not gonna use mango because number one, don't have any mango. Can't wait to go buy some. And two, there's a little thing about it uh, like after it. And after what? After it. And it basically just says that the mango just has vitamin C in it, which is really good for the skin. So I'm gonna substitute it for a splash of like orange juice just to get that vitamin C. Hopefully it kind of does the same thing. And I quite like doing hydration mask after I've shaved. So I'm gonna shave, go make the mask, and then I'll see you back in a mini. Hi guys, so we're back. Am I just, oh. So I just shaved. I have cut myself slightly because obviously evidently I still shave like a juvenile. Look there, great. So I just made the mask downstairs. It looks like mushy peas or cartoon vomit. So excited. Um, Yeah, and let's go put, let's put it on. I didn't actually use um, orange juice in the end. I used a squeeze of fresh lemon because I thought that would probably have more vitamin C in and less sugar. Okay, so I finished the application. I did actually get avocado in my hair, which is lovely. Hair mask too. Ugh. I literally look like the bogeyman. Horrible. God, the smell of this avocado with freshly squeezed lemon just reminds me of bougie boozy brunch in Miami. 
I'm not lying. You are. God, I miss my friends. Um, anyway. Anyway, I got a new plan. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes and then wash it off. Hi! So I've had this on for quite a long time now. Um, it literally looks like I've got bogeys or green boils all over my skin. I'm going to wash this off and then you know the drill. Okay, so I've just washed the bogeys off my face, as you can see. My skin does actually feel very soft. And you know, um, when you get like itchy face after you shave, I haven't really got any of that, which is quite nice. So it's obviously worked with the like hide. Look how dirty this mirror is, horrible. Yeah, it's obviously worked with like that. So that's quite good. So yeah, there we go. There was the five face masks. Thanks for coming on the journey with me. Um, sorry, where were we before my ring light like, demanded attention? Um, yeah, so that was the face fight. That was the face five masks. That was the five face masks. Thanks for joining in the journey. What have you learned? Nothing. <laughs> to be fair, they were pretty much a load of old <laughs> I just felt like I had literally meals on my face and I didn't really think they did very much. Um, I think the best one was probably the oatmeal and bicarbonate soda one. That was quite good because it was like tingling. It felt like it was actually doing something. And to be fair, the avocado one that I just did was quite good. But yeah, kind of a big load of nothing really, which is a bit annoying and a bit of a shame. So I'll probably have to go back to spending quite a lot of money on skincare, which is great. But yeah, I feel like Kills and Glam Glow and, you know, Lush or whoever you buy your face mask from, they do know what they're talking about. So that's probably why they are industry leading skincare people. So yeah, unfortunately, the food in your kitchen, in my opinion, it's not good. And just treat yourself, buy yourself a face mask, feel a million dollars, put it on on a Sunday night, take a selfie, put it on your Instagram story, hashtag self-care, and yeah, live your best life. But um, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, even though the face masks were rubbish, please make sure you subscribe. Tell all your friends, all of them, they all want to know, promise, they really do. And, and yeah, I'll put a couple of links to the last few videos in my bio and make sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, follow me on Instagram. As I said, it's now Ryan Lay 2, not RJLay underscore underscore. And yeah, um, ciao for now.